what's up and welcome back to my channel i don't even think there really needs to be an intro i feel like i should just get right into it again i'm on tiktok i'm on like instagram pinterest whatever you name it honestly should be like <laughs> a playlist or a series that i do on this channel where i just recreate looks but for some reason it's just all i think about and it's all i ever want to knit so this week i decided i wanted to knit these really weird arm warmers I don't know what they're called. I like still can't really wrap my head around what exactly they are. Zara came out with this really controversial like sweater thing that like you can't even explain it. It's not even really a sweater. You know, it's just kind of like this weird thing that you put over as I would say like an accessory. So essentially it's like, it's like a turtleneck and there's no front or back. It's just arms. So that's why I think it's an arm warmer because that makes the most sense. But it's kind of a sweater, but then people wear it with like bralettes and stuff or like sports bras. And I'm like, like, why are you just trying to keep your neck warm and your arms warm, but like this whole area needs to be out. But yeah, but for some reason people are wearing it and it's super popular and it, I have no idea why. I honestly, I don't know if I love it or hate it. It's so, it's so confusing. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to think about it. I'm trying to look up different, like, patterns to see if it was out there, and no one's made it yet. So, I thought it'd be really cool if I tried to attempt to make this really weird looking thing and see if it looks cute on me, see if it's actually something I'd want to wear, see if I can style it. It looks so weird. I just. I can't explain to you why it looks so weird. But, like, just. just Hopefully I can figure it out. We're going to try it. I'm gonna see if I can do it within this week. Let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm omitting my process explanation just because it feels super unnecessary. I'm just knitting a neck and then I'm adding sleeves to it. So I'm knitting 80 stitches in the round on a four millimeter circular needle. If y'all wanted to know, I'm doing a rib stitch just cause I felt that it would look nice. Honestly, I think that the sweater thing is like a fad. I don't think it's really gonna stay in season, but I don't know. I think we all get caught up in like looking at people on Pinterest, people on Instagram, TikTok, they're buying these things and they look so good in it that we feel obligated to look that certain way. But like it's only for the fashion trend, like companies are just trying to get you to buy things and then get people to model them and so it makes you think that you want it but then when you go out and buy it it's not actually like what you think it was gonna look like and I feel like that's very true with this sweater itself it just has no practicality it's just warming your arms and neck my full torso was just out in the open like sure it's trendy but i know that whenever i watch tiktoks i always feel bad about myself because they keep buying all these things and like showing me all these hauls and i think to myself like why can't i have those clothes like why why am i not buying as many things as i want to but honestly it's not reality i mean i guess if you like it you can go get it it's 35 bucks canadian at zara you can i'm pretty sure you can still buy it now I think I made this for $8. I got two balls of yarn and I didn't finish the last one, so I have enough. I was thinking maybe I could make a tank top to go with it. I feel like that is also a trend that's happening and I think maybe it would look nicer with something else. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you can see it in my face. I was just not liking how it was turning out. I don't know. Yeah, don't worry, no more anime this week. I've finished what is good on Netflix. Um, 
currently they've just put i feel like they had parks and rec on the canadian netflix before and then they took it off but they brought it back again so i'm gonna rewatch that that's gonna be amazing i've gone down this rabbit hole of like watching cody co and like uh like drew gooden um that other kid danny gonzalez or whatever i was just having like some good old laughs but i think i have this problem with like commentary channels it's just so funny to watch they have so many good ideas and it's all like i'm pretty sure it's all scripted because there's no way you can just hit all those jokes on point all the time but oh my god i could watch those for days Yeah, I figured out that the sleeves were a little too big and looked a little too frumpy, so I had to unravel like the whole thing and I wanted to cry and I didn't film it, so. I decided for the second sleeve that I was gonna show you how I did it, so I am counting 10 stitches to keep for the neckline. I'm then picking up stitches along the side. I'm picking up 30 stitches to start off the second sleeve. Then I'm just knitting in stockinette. So you start off with a purl row. So you're just purling and you're just knitting. Yeah, honestly, nothing too exciting. Um, I just made sure that for the edges, I kept them clean. So I just slip purl wise or slip knit wise at the end of each row and it, it formed quite a nice pattern. Okay, so this is me um, increasing the stitches using the M1L. So you can see it's slanting leftwards. You, you pretty much do it in between stitches and it creates like this increase that's very seamless. Yeah, and then you'll see me do it on the other side. I'm also increasing, but I'm doing it at M1R, so I'm making it so it slants to the right. I don't know if you guys watch this all the way through, like it's honestly understandable if you just watch to the very end just to see the result, but I really don't know if you guys like it when I talk over these, like do a voiceover, or if you, you just like watching the time lapse and the music, or maybe just the time lapse and silence. I have no idea. Any suggestions would be great in the comments. You know, at one point I was even contemplating if like I should be doing ASMR, like is this channel me just doing vlog type knitting where it's really chill, you like to watch it when you're, you know, doing other things. I, I really do not know. But I don't know if it's my anxiety or not that I feel the need to fill up these empty spaces of awkward silence. But thank you for watching anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so this is the final result. I I don't know. I honestly put on so much makeup, put on such nice clothes, trying to make it work, and I still couldn't really tell. I even added this trench coat. I honestly thought it looked super weird, but then you cover it and it's like a mock turtleneck and like mock sleeves, so like maybe it's like in a springtime, but you wanna look like you're in the winter. I even tried it with a dress, try to see if this was just, maybe I could make it look nice, <laughs> make it formal, tried it with another dress, I was just honestly looking for any way to style it better. I don't know if I'd ever wear this out, but it is an interesting silhouette and I'm happy I tried it. I was so desperate to make this look nice that I tried to do it so it looked like a cardigan. I took off the turtleneck. It kind of gives me like half sleeve kind of look. Again, tried to make like a scarf. Didn't work. Tried to wrap it around. Didn't work. I even tried making it a shawl. I still couldn't tell if it was nice. Okay. Like, there's no cute way of holding this. It looks like... <laughs> I usually pull it down, but there's nothing to pull. Yeah? 
so this is it 